A local medical practitioner and kidney patient is clamoring for answers on when dialysis will be available to patients in the country. Jermaine Bristol Stanislaus, an intern in the Department of Medicine at the General Hospital, who is diagnosed with end-stage renal disease, says she has to constantly travel to Trinidad and Tobago on a regular basis to seek dialysis treatment. In an exclusive interview with the GBN Today, Mrs. Stanislaus spoke of instances where her condition was affected when she couldn't receive treatment. I have had two situations where dialysis in Grenada was out of commission, either because we had run out of stock and didn't get any back in time, or the machines had broken down like it is now, where I had to go without dialysis for a week and a half to two weeks, and I had to be hospitalized once with encephalitis. That means the toxins in my blood built up so much that it affected my brain and I had about six or so seizures in one day. And the other time it was a peritonitis where basically the toxins came out in my abdomen and just caused a big irritation. It was quite painful. She says the traveling for the treatment is very expensive and takes her away from her family and job. She further stated that up till today, she has no information as to when treatment will be available locally. The nurses that normally work at the dialysis unit, they too have no idea what is happening, how soon the machines are going to be up, if there are going to be new machines, they don't know. And I spoke to Mr. And Michi, um, Dr. and Mrs. Amici at SAMS where the dialysis unit is housed and they too don't know what's happening, how soon. So. The point is the patients do not know what's happening. So I don't know how long am I going to have to stay in Trinidad? How long am I going to have to be out of work? How long am I going to be away from my family? Uh, would there ever be dialysis again in Grenada? These are questions that we want to know and we don't know. Mrs. Stanislaus is appealing to the relevant authorities to rectify the situation. Delroy Lozon, GBN News.